Well, many of you have been asking how to set up flight conditions in your 18MZ. It's actually a very simple process. Uh, we're going to start with a fresh model here just to uh, show you how it goes together. So the conditions are set in the, air, in the model menu. So we'll touch the uh, model menu. Then we're going to go into condition select. And in this instance, I want, I'm going to set up three different flight conditions. So the first thing I need to do is to add two more. So we'll go down here and hit add. And we're going to add condition 2 and add condition 3. Now you can rename these as you like. You, down here you see the rename function. So if you want a snap roll or a, uh, a spin condition, you can name those. So the next thing we need to do is to tell it what switch we want to use and how we want that switch to, to uh, turn the conditions on and off. So we're going to go over here to condition 3 and hit the off button, then we're going to go down here and hit off and we're going to assign it to switch SA which is this one up here we'll touch SA and now we're going to assign the on position now you can see we have three options and if I move the switch you can see it actually moves in uh, as we want it to so I want condition 3 to be turned on with the switch in its lowermost condition and that just happened to already become upset so we'll close this and close this menu. Now we're going to go condition 2 and do exactly the same thing. SA is assigned on position. Now this time I want it to be in the middle. So if I, again if I move the switch to the middle position you'll see where we're at. So I'm going to turn that on and I want this to be turned off down here so it doesn't, it's not on in both positions. Close that and close that. Okay now you see we have three conditions if I move the switch, looking right here, you'll see the conditions will change. I'm currently in the middle position, a top position, back to the middle, and bottom position. So now I have my three conditions assigned. Now I can get out of this menu. Let's say we want to change our rates. Now I've gone back to condition one. So we're going to change our dual rates for various things here. Now the first thing we want to determine is which surface we want to uh, affect. Here we're just going to do aileron. You want to make sure that this is not in group like it is right now but in single if you want to change the conditions. So you can see right now condition 1 is set at 90 percent. Let's make that 100 so we can see some changes here. Now I'm going to flip down to condition 2 Again, want to make sure that says single. It's going to default to group. Let's take that down to 80 on both sides. And I'm just doing simple dual rate changes here. In condition 3, uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave that at 90 for right now. So now, if I move my switch, looking right here, you can see condition 3, 90. Condition 2, 80. And condition 1, 100%. If I wanted to do a different... Uh, surface. If I wanted to do elevator, it would do the same thing. Take it out of group, put it in single. I'm in condition one. We'll leave that at 100%. Go to condition two with our switch. Again, single. And let's take it down to 90 on both sides. Condition three, single. And we'll just run it uh, all the way down to. Oh, I don't know, 75. So that is actually all there is to setting up conditions. It's very simple. Now you can do a lot of other things with conditions. I just showed you a dual rate change here. But you can set many, almost any other function. Any function almost that you set in the airplane menu or the model menu, you can affect with conditions. This saves you a lot of time. You don't have to flip multiple switches to go into different rates or anything like that. So very simple, very easy. Next segment we'll show you a couple of examples of conditions that we've set up.